Hello peeps, it's Lord Hypersonic. Today I'm presenting you a spell checker program in C++. As the name suggests, this program checks the spelling of the word provided by the user. Just you have to type the word and hit enter. It will check whether the spelling is correct or not. If spelling is correct, it will show the message spelling is correct. Or if the spelling is incorrect, then it will show the message spelling is wrong following are the possible correct spellings now let us see how the program works first user will be asked to enter the word and if there is any uppercase alphabet then convert it into lowercase alphabet now check the existence of words.txt a text file which contain each and every word of english language you can find the download link in the description if words.txt exist then follow the next step otherwise print the message notable to open words.txt and terminate the program if the file exists then perform the following steps first declare an integer variable correct and initialize it with zero second start a loop to read the file line by line third compare the length of the word entered by the user and the length of the word taken from the file if lengths are equal then check if both the words are same or not if both the words are same then make correct equals to one and if words are not same then continue the loop after the loop is finished check the value of correct if the value of correct is one then spelling is correct and if correct is equals to zero then spelling is incorrect if it is found that value of correct is zero then we have to print the suggestions of correct spellings suggestions are given on the basis of five types of mistake that can happen while writing or typing a word and to solve each type of mistake there are different functions and these functions return value of zero or one if the function returns zero it means that type of mistake is not present if function return one it means there is a probability that type of mistake is present. Call all five functions to show suggestions and check the value returned by the function. If all function returns zero, that means the word entered by the user does not exist. Now let's see the five types of spelling mistake that are possible by writing or typing and also see the algorithm to check the right spelling of the word entered by the user. Before getting into it, first declare a global array of character type and store all the alphabets inside it. This array will be useful to find the correct spellings. Type 1. Missing character. In this type of mistake, a single character is missing from the word. For example, if user enter the spelling of stack as stck, so in this a is missing from the spelling of stack we can solve this mistake as follows first declare an integer variable found and initialize it with zero run a loop from i is equal to zero to i is equal to 25 now add the ith element of global character array to the input for example if the spelling is stck then after adding a at the end of it it will look like this stcka now separate first character and rest of the string that is s and tcka and sort the string after sorting it will look like this a c k t now add the first character and the string together such that it look like this s a c k t now compare its length uh, with the word taken from the file. If lengths are equal, then do the same thing with the word taken from the file as done with the word entered by the user. Now compare both the strings. If strings are equal, then print the word taken from the file. Make found equals to 1 and break all loops. And if strings are not equal, then keep checking. At the end, return found. Type 2. Extra character. In this type of mistake, there is an extra character or alphabet in the word entered by the user. For example, if user enters the spelling of stack as S-T-A-I-C-K, then I is an extra alphabet in the word. We can solve this type of problem as follows. First, check if length of input minus 1 is equal to the word from the file. 
if equal then start a loop from i is equals to 1 to i is smaller than length of input remove the i -th character from the string for example if input is equals to s t a i c k then i, I is equals to 1 input will be s a i c k at i is equals to 2 input will be s t i c k at i is equals to 3 input will be s t a c k and so on after removing the ith character from the string, compare it with the word from the file. If both the strings are equal, then print the word from the file and make found is equal to 1. Break all loops. If strings are not equal, then keep checking and at the end, return the value of found. Type 3. It's a mixture of type 1 and type 2. In this type of mistake, there is an extra character and a missing character. For example, if the user enters the spelling of tomorrow as T O M M O R O W, then M is an extra character and R is the missing character in this word. To solve such mistakes, declare an integer variable found and initialize it with zero. Now we have to remove each and every alphabet one by one from the input except the first character. For example, if user enters the spelling T O M M O R O W, then make it T M M O R O W T O M O R O W T O M M R O W T O M M O W T O M M O R O. After removing one character from the string, add every element of global character array one by one. For example. T M M O R O W A T M M O R O W B T M M O R O W Z. Sort the input except for the first character, for example, T A M M O O R W. Now sort the word from the file except the first character, that is, do it in the same way as done for the input string. Now compare the word from the file and input. If both the strings are same, then print the word from the file, make found equals to 1 and break all loops. If strings are not same, then keep checking. At the end, return the value of found. Type 4 Exchanged character In this type of mistake, one alphabet is exchanged with any other alphabet. For example, if user enter the spelling of consensus as C O N C E N S U S, so first S in consensus is replaced with C. We can solve this type of problem as follows. First, declare an integer variable found and initialize it with zero. Check the length of input and word from file. If lengths are equal, then proceed further, otherwise, take next word from the file. Start a loop from i is equal to length of input minus 1 to i greater than equal to 0. Exchange the ith character of input with the ith element of the global character array. Compare it with the word from the file. If both the strings are equal, then print the word from the file, make found equals to 1 and break all loops. At the end, return value of found. Type 5 incorrect arrangement in this type of mistake alphabets are not in proper order for example if user enter l e n g h t the position of h and t are exchanged or we can say that the arrangement of both alphabets is incorrect we can solve this problem as follows first declare an integer variable found and initialize it with zero Check the length of the word from the file and input. If lengths are equal, then move to the next tab, otherwise move to the next word of the file. Separate the first alphabet from the string, for example, L and E N G H T. Now sort the string, for example, E G H and T, and add first character and sorted string, that is L E N G H and T. Do the same thing for the word from the file as done for input. Compare both strings and if both strings are same, then print the word from the file, make found equals to 1 and exit all loops. At the end, return the value of found.